there's a big misconception about marketing, which is that you do marketing when you need clients. This is why so many businesses go through what I call the feast and famine cycle. When they do their marketing, they've got some clients. Maybe they have enough clients or hopefully more than enough clients. And then when they have enough clients, they're busy servicing their clients and they're not doing their marketing. And so naturally, there becomes a, a valley, a, a famine part of the cycle, which is, my gosh, people aren't hearing about us anymore. Um, we aren't being in touch with our audience with helpful content, and they're not signing up for our services and our products, et cetera. So this feast and famine cycle is stressful. Uh, it's exciting in some ways because you always have to do launches in order to have enough clients, et cetera, but it's also stressful. And it's what makes a lot of people go out of business after a while because they can't stand that stress, you know, the stress of the peaks and valleys anymore. Gratefully, I've been able to have a steady increase in the past few years. I've had a full one-on-one -on -one client roster and I've had a steady increase in, in inquiries and in, um, interest in my business because I'm doing marketing consistently, not just when I need clients. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today in this video is what do we do consistently in our marketing? Okay, so the first foundational thought is to realize that um, marketing isn't about selling and getting clients. I know that sounds strange to some of you. Marketing, when it's good, when it's done well, and when it's done authentically, isn't about getting, getting more clients, trying to grab people's attention, et cetera. Okay? The way I think about good marketing, authentic marketing, is about connecting, exploring, expressing, educating, uplifting our audience, okay? So it's this kind of dual process of exploring and expressing what's true for us, what we feel is important. What do you feel is important? What's important in your field? What's important for your audience to know? If you only had six months left to live, this is the question that changed my life a few years ago. If I only had six months left to live, what must I say so that this library of knowledge called my life, you know, my, my wisdom, my life, my experiences is not lost? You are also a library, a vast library of human wisdom and experiences and learnings and skills and expertise in your field. So what is important for you to share before, while you still have the time? Okay, so that's how I look at marketing. I look at marketing as connecting, as, as expressing, you know, as educating, as uplifting my audience. Okay, so that's the foundation. We first have to get that clear. Marketing isn't about, well, how can I create my funnel and how can I, you know, grab their attention? And if you start doing that, well, you know how marketers do that to us. It doesn't feel good, right? Just something's always off with the marketing that, we, that we're getting. Just They're always trying very hard. They're always, um, the word is huckster, right? <laughs> huckster, it's like they're, they're kind of a used car sales, salesman kind of thing. Nothing wrong with used car salespeople, by the way. Hopefully you're an authentic one if you are one. But that's the idea. It's like you don't want to come across like that, right? Good and authentic marketing is is consistent now that it's it's the, the you know, another way of thinking about it is it's kind of like that friend of yours whom you hear from every once in a while when they have something to sell you <laughs> they have a new business opportunity they have a new product to sell you and you just hear from them when when they have it's it's like that do, do you want to be like that to your audience some of you are unfortunately because you think that marketing is about getting clients when marketing when it's authentic and when it's good, it's about connecting, exploring, edu expressing, educating, uplifting, and yes, of course, announcing 
an inv invitation, announcing your service, your upcoming product, pro uh, event, et cetera, et cetera, and inviting them to it. But it's that's that's just twenty percent of your of your marketing. Most of your marketing is about about uh, connecting and, and sharing content. So let me tell you uh, what I do in my business to be consistent with my marketing. Okay, there are five things, and actually I have some notes that I want to make sure I I'm pulling up here. So the first thing, uh, let's see here. So the, let's see here. Five things. No, I'm 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 shortening it to four things actually. So four things. Okay. So the first thing is content. Now you've heard me preach this every day, and I hope you're doing this. And some of you are doing it consistently now, and I congratulate you for that. So, are you creating and sharing content consistently about your field, about your area of expertise? Some of you are posting things like, you know, I mean, social media. We see this all the time. People post what they're what they're having for lunch. You know, people post where they're going. People, it's fine. I mean, it's keep doing that if you want to do that to connect with friends and family. But are you posting about your expertise? I mean, some of you aren't doing this. Some of you are just posting your everyday goings on. Like, oh, you know, you might even say, "Oh, I, I just came back from seeing a client." That's fine. That's okay. But that's kind of salesy, isn't it? Like, just came back from seeing a client. Well, how does that? Why do I care that you just came back from seeing a client? No, seriously. Why do I care? Okay, you're going to teach me something based on what you what you and your client worked on. Okay, that's that's better. That's better. But still, it's a little bit salesy that ah, I just came back from seeing a client. Blah blah blah. You know, I see people do this all the time who are who are marketers too. I'm like, yeah, it's okay if you're teaching us something, but it's still bordering on kind of like ah, self promotion. You know, teach us something every day. Teach us something, something from your expertise every single day. Teach us something without trying to sell us all the time. That's real content, not, you know, I'm hiding my sales pitch in my content content, okay? Real content, okay? Consistently, right? Authentically and relevant to, 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 to your audience, okay? So that's, that's the first, first thing that I'm always consistent with in my business. I mean, you know, you're here, right? You're here watching my video. So the second thing that I'm consistent with is distribution, some of you aren't aren't doing this. Like you're you're posting your content on Facebook or YouTube or wherever, and you're saying, George, content doesn't work. Nobody signs up for my. St well, it's because you're not working on distribution. Do you do, did you think just because you put up a website that suddenly the world's going to come look at your website? It doesn't work like that. Well, hopefully now you know. Same thing with publishing a book. Do you think that just because you put it on Amazon that suddenly you're a bestseller? No. It's about distribution. There's content and then there's distribution. You're not working on the distribution side of it. So what do I mean by distribution? What I do is I do Facebook ads, right? So I am, well, actually the, the foundational thing is email newsletter. Are you sending a regular email newsletter to your existing subscribers if you have any? Some of you aren't even doing that, right? That's like, the, the, that's like kindergarten. Like if you're not even sending an email newsletter regularly, your audience isn't hearing from you regularly. The people who are subscribe, who care enough to subscribe to your newsletter, aren't even hearing from you regularly. What's going on, right? Well, then you say, George, I don't know how to send an email newsletter. It's too complicated. It's too much work. If you look at my email newsletters, they are incredibly simple. <laughs> I just give you snippets of my recent pieces of content and then a link to to read more if you want it, just keep it simple and at the end of my newsletter i have my upcoming off my current offering oh i'm selling this online workshop oh i i have one-on-one -on -one client spots it hasn't been for a couple of years but it's like whatever your offering is your upcoming event or whatever it is so content in your newsletter just snippets of something you've already it takes me 10 minutes to send my email newsletter every week how about you you know it takes take you an hour no just keep it simple i don't have any graphics either my email newsletter, it's just so simple now and I love it. And so anyway, that's the basics of distribution. But now let's go to first and second grade. Okay? Are you doing Facebook ads? $30 a month, I've already mentioned it, can help you reach a 1,000 of the right people. $30 a month. Okay? Are you spending $30 a month? If not, what's going on? Why? Why aren't you doing that? Okay? So learn Facebook ads. Get better at Facebook ads. And, and don't tell me, George, I did Facebook ads before. It didn't work. Well, it's kind of like you telling me, you know, 
I tried um, speaking Greek before and it didn't work. Well, of course it didn't work because you didn't learn how to speak Greek. Of course they didn't understand you. You've got to learn this stuff. You've got to get better at it. Facebook ads work amazingly for me. Okay, I'm getting, it's way better return than what I invest in. So you've got to learn. You know, that's why it's, it, it works amazingly if you knew how to use it. So Facebook ads is the easiest way to distribute your content. Bottom line, honestly, right now. There's no other, not Google ads, not anything else. Facebook ads, that's it. If you're going to learn one thing, learn that in terms of distribution of your content and your offerings. So that's the, the next thing I do on a regular basis is offerings. Okay. Actually, it really should go content and then offerings and then distribution because distribution is about both your content and your offerings. So the offerings, let me talk about that. Are you doing offerings on a regular basis? Offerings, I know it sounds kind of like a religious term, but what I mean in, in business is are you offering your services and your products to your audience? That's it. Are you doing that regularly? Some of you are consistent with your content, but then your audience doesn't know about your products and services. You can say, well, George, they should know because then maybe it's on my website. Nobody goes to your website, okay? I mean, I mean, I shouldn't say nobody, but your audience doesn't really go to your website. They, they're, they're, they're consuming your content wherever you post it, on your email newsletter, on Facebook, on YouTube, wherever. But they're not really going to your website. I mean, very few people are. A lot of people going, people going to your website are actually bots. They're just, you know, crawl, search engine bots or whatever. And you think, oh, I get visitors to my website. Not really, Okay. It's not enough to put your, your offerings on your website. You've got to tell your audience on a regular basis what your offerings are because they're not, they're not thinking about you, okay? You're not, okay, pop quiz. Do you know what my offerings are? Well, some of you watching this, I'm, I'm good about telling you regularly what my offerings are. Some of you know, but a lot of you don't know that I have a group coach. Do you, have, do you know I have a group coaching program? You probably don't. Do you know I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching well, I mentioned it occasionally. Do you know that I have, what, four or five workshops right now that you can buy right now? You probably don't know, you know, because, well, I, I have enough business right now, so I don't do as much offerings as I should. But I still do offerings on, I mean, I have a new workshop every one or two months. I announce to you. You probably hear about that. You see what I mean? So if I'm not telling you about what I offer, you, you're not thinking about me. You're not thinking about my offerings. So what about your audience? Your audience is not thinking about your offerings. They don't know what you offer. They don't remember. Even if you tell them once, they're going to forget in you know, five days, right? Not, not that you should be selling something every five days, but you should be selling something at least once a month, at least once a month. Your, your, your audience, wherever you post your content, should hear about your current offering. And you should be trying your offerings in different ways. You know, if all you sell is a one-to-one -one service, then this month, Talk about one issue that you work on in your one-to-one -one service. And then next month, highlight a different issue or highlight a different benefit that your clients benefit from, okay? So content, consistently. Offerings, consistently less frequently than content, but still consistent so that your, your, your audience is, oh, yeah, that's right. You told me last month. I totally forgot. You know, they, they, they forget all the time, your audience, right? Just like you forget what I do all the time until I tell you, right? So then, and then the third one is distribution, which is learning Facebook ads primarily, but also your email newsletters, really important. And then the fourth and final part, and I got to end this uh, video so we have, have the next call coming up. The fourth and final part is optimizing. And some of you aren't doing this, which is optimizing both your content and your offerings and your distribution. But let's talk about this. Optimizing your content means looking at the content that you've posted recently in the past few months. I mean, depending on how, how often you do this action, but are you looking at the content you posted recently and say, asking yourself of the 10 or of the 20 of the 30 pieces that I posted lately, which one, which ones are resonating more with my audience and which ones are silent? Like nobody's saying anything there. What's the pattern? You've got to ask yourself, what's the pattern between the ones that are working well for my audience and the ones that are not? Are you doing that? A lot of my clients, when I ask them, they're like, no, I just post content and I just assume it's going to work. Well, of course, it's not going to work until you keep improving it, right? So optimizing is improving your content by noticing the patterns among your content and then doing more of what's working and doing less of what's not working. Same thing with your offerings. If you're not testing different ways of talking about your offerings and testing different offerings, then how will you be able to look back and say, which ones are my audience taking me up on? and which ones aren't, and what's the pattern there.
And finally, the optimizing has to do with optimizing your distribution. I've already talked about this a bit. Learning more how to do Facebook ads even more effectively. Learning how to send uh, your, your, well, sending email newsletters is pretty basic the way I do it. But you may want to distribute, uh, optimize your distribution by connecting with other service providers to trade content promotions. Somebody with a similar audience as you, you know, you share their best piece of content, you, you talk to them about it, and then they share your best piece of content if either party, both, both of you think that that's the best thing to do, right? So content, offerings, distribution, and optimization. I do this consistently in my business. I tell my clients to do it consistently. Are you doing it consistently? If you do these things consistently, you will exit that feast and famine cycle, and you will be doing this like, like, you know, you know, like what I've been experiencing in the past few years in my business. Consistent, increasing audience and client and more than enough clients. So I hope this is helpful. And any questions, let me know below. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you.